things that are going on in Washington, you know, various regulatory efforts really affect our industry, right? So, I mean, there's three that you can think of off the top of your head. One concerns uh, the EPA's move on coal, and that greatly affects our industry because coal loadings are down and so on and so forth. But, you know, that's one of the things that when you look at it, coal is clean and coal does help uh, fuel American progress. So advocacy from that standpoint is very important. When you take a look at overall safety, and you know, PTC's been in the news a lot, uh, ECP's been in the news a lot, you know, the, the products that suppliers manufacture and design for the railroad industry, as, a, as I said, that is the backbone that gives the industry the ability to profitably do what they do. And that strengthens our economy and that's good for our nation. If you're really interested in seeing the best of what various suppliers have to offer, there's no better place to come to than this, right? So if you're an interested uh, railway customer, you want to see what the, uh, the bleeding edge of technology is, if you will, this is where you find out. You want to interact with the supply base. There's nowhere else, there's no other forum where you can have this many interactions in this amount of time. It's a great opportunity to, to meet and greet customers and for them to meet and greet the industry that supports their business. This is New York Air Brake's brand new DB62 control valve. The DB60 was introduced in 1989. It's been a long time since there's been any innovation on the control valve standpoint from a functional uh, perspective. In fact, this is the first functional improvement that has been made to the control valve in nearly 50 years. And what it does that is so remarkable is that when you have a, a, a brake that's on a train and you've got a brake cylinder and it leaks, it's only a matter of time until that car loses its braking effort, right? It's just like the, the pressure in your tires. If you've got a leak in the tire, it's only so long before you have a flat tire, right? This control valve can sense a leak and it compensates for it. So just like if you had a compressor on board your car that could constantly pump up the tires, you'd never have a flat, you'll never run out of a brake with uh, the DB62. There are several key advantages. One is, is that if you're compensating for the leak, the car can stay in service longer than it otherwise would. So the benefit to car owners there is clear. The cars get to stay in service longer. If you're the engineer and you're trying to stop a train on a grade, what this means is, is that you won't lose any braking effort to, to leakage. So you are better able to control the speed of that train on the grade, and you have to expend a lot less energy doing so, right? So you get an improvement in safety and an overall improvement in efficiency.